Chaos on Masher, a technical mod pack all about exploring the solar system where today, today I have, let me show you here, some big plans. Yes, indeed, some big plans. I've got like all sorts of farms and animals. Well, I had animals. We'll talk about that in a second. All sorts of farms and stuff around that's just kind of littering the floor. And I'd like to move it up into a, uh, into a building up above um, everywhere here just kind of get it out of the way uh, I've had a word with all the people that live around here and they are quite happy for me to do this nighttime approaches so let's get down here but of course to do that I'm gonna need to make myself some sort of power of flight now thankfully uh, if we are coming uh, I don't really want to do that if, if we <clears throat> you guys know there are jetpacks. Jetpacks are a thing. I could just leave it at that. Jetpacks are a thing. And to do that, I need all sorts of stuff, including a whole bunch of casings. Now, casings so far have been done by taking a, a block over to the pre plate pressure, pressing the button and getting four. Now, that equivalates out to... Equivalates? What a word. Uh, uh, equivalates out to nine ingots for four... Plates. Now that's that's not great. If I come into something called the metal former here and have a look at the resource machine, uh, the single plate can be made. I've clicked the wrong thing there. That's that's not very helpful. That's not very helpful at all. Let me find the right one. So as I was saying, one block will get you four plates, or you can go to the metal former where one ingot gets you a plate. Definitely doing that. I am definitely going to do that. So if we have a look up here, we've got the metal former. We've made some coils before. We know how the circuits are made, the resource machine as well. But these toolboxes, these are something new. We need to get ourselves a whole bunch of bronze casing, like ouch, and a couple of chests. Now, thankfully, I happen to have all the stuff for the bronze in my inventory here. And I do not have an alloy smelter. Some of you guys might be aware of this. I decided to go for a blast furnace instead to make steel. Thankfully, over this way, my good buddy and friend and neighbor, Forrest, has a whole bunch of equipment that I don't. So we're going to go and use that while we make... to, to kickstart some of the basic resource... Um, gathering looks like he's making himself a tree farm as well over there those things really do just kind of rip away you need to put quite a big quite a thick border around it okay i'm gonna make my way down to his secret area okay so we're down in forest secret base i'm not going to tell you where you guys are where it is i mean like you can get the coordinates but that's not going to help you find the entrance to it is it uh so let's go up into the alloy smelter and i believe i just do this and now we just gotta wait a long long time there are a bunch of upgrades that could happen in this machine but it's not my machine so i'm not gonna do that uh I, and i am gonna literally just sit here and wait for all these bits to get produced oh yeah forgot to mention Oh, my animals are dead. I'm not sure why. If we come and have a look inside here, we've got some uh, laser ammo and a salvaged ender convergence unit, which uh, makes me think maybe there was a bad guy in here, but seriously killed everything with like all these signs, uh, all these fences up and stuff like that. I can kind of see why something would have got into the, the cow pen. Uh, the only other thought is maybe this was done for reasons of lag and someone came along and tied it up. I was gone for like, I don't know, two days or something. But they were like, 30 cows and maybe 30 sheep as well uh, it's a little annoying because i don't have anywhere near enough wool that i want to do all those other things up there so yeah i'm gonna have to go and find some more sheep but first let's go and do this a casings thing this should hopefully hopefully fingers crossed and all other appendages that would be used for luck uh being brought to bear here hopefully be the last time that we need to do this now do, do we do it like this there should be a block option right there's yeah there we go there is a block option i was fairly sure i'd measured that out to exact units there uh but maybe the number of ingots we could get from bronze didn't quite match up with the number of blocks i did that preparation as i say about 48 hours ago now so i can't remember my my logic behind any of this uh, let's click that down again all right cool we got ourselves a whole bunch of plates you might be like wow that is a lot of plates and i agree that is a lot of plates but we need to make some of these casings all right there are 10 of those i only have a single chest that is fine nice and easy to work with here if i just clickety click that should do us all i actually 
I thought I shift clicked that, but still, there we go. All right, awesome. And now we should just be able to pop those in the middle and put a bunch of casings around the outside. We've got these toolboxes. Hype. It's what we've been after for a little time. Let's get some of these pre-built components out. We know how all those are made. I have shown you these in the past. We've got a, a circuit up there, a resource machine that's just made out of plates. The, cr the coils we've made a few times for both the generators and the warming machine. But here is a metal a former who definitely one of the things we are after oh well wow, look at that quest material efficiency i did i didn't even think about it being a quest but of course it would be let's have a look here it is material efficiency what are we going to take out of this lot heart container let's let's not even pretend that that's not the thing that i'm like desperate for right now Woo, there we go back up to six hearts nice I've just realized I haven't given you guys the tour of the tidying up that I've done. So nothing new has been done here. All I've done is done things like got the macerator, the washing plant, the electric furnace, and the compressor all in a nice line here. We've got ourselves a bit of power going, and I'll show you where that power comes from. Uh, I do have a pickaxe here. Let's just rip our way through this wall. I'm sure it'll be fine. So you can see I've done a little bit back here. Can I place that? Thank you. A little bit back here to tidy up what was going on. So you can see the farm comes out this far. And one of my big concerns was that when saplings dropped, they planted trees. And I didn't want them being planted out here because the, neither the farm nor the item collector could do anything with the stuff there. I also did this thing where I am um, measuring them out of items in the collector to turn this on and off i think i actually showed you that during the episode now we used to have a bunch of furnaces and next to it making a charcoal i have moved those down here there is charcoal on the floor what's going on over here hey are you guys broken are you guys I'm not i'm not sure what the deal with that is are these guys being yeah that's all still being fed and stuff so that's that's pretty sound let's try and break this see what we can do maybe to fix this that, is that fixed? Is that a fix? I don't know if that's a fix or not, but we will leave that there. So the items come down out of here, and I've had to break this pipe because I honestly don't know a way of telling the furnaces to stop making charcoal when this charcoal box is full. Uh, in fact, we're starting to run out now, so I can probably put a bit of... Cut, bit of uh, tubing back here but the wood comes out and goes into this iron furnace whereupon it gets burnt with the charcoal and feeds down this way the saplings also go back up into the farming machine here as well as some of the charcoal so that powers itself there and we basically get infinite charcoal off of that i then have charcoal running out over towards these bank of generators here i also want to make a couple of bat boxes make a make a whole power display on the back uh, that would be pretty good. And also, I've got this whole line of machinery up here. Okay, cool. So that should now mean that our uh, metal former is ready to uh, roll. Maybe roll, maybe extrude. I'm not sure exactly which ones are right now. Now, to make the jetpack, because this is what we're after now, let's get rid of all this and have a look at the new thing we want to do. Jetpack is, of course, an electric item. Oh, I don't have glowstone. Do I have glowstone? I think I've got glowstone dust. Let's, let's have a quick look in the box over here, shall we? I have six bits of glowstone dust. Okay, awesome. So we'll grab two of those. Uh, there are some more things we need, of course. Uh, Four iron casings, and I think I actually saw an advanced... Oh, this might take a little while. Let me check some stuff out here. Okay, it's nowhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I just panicked. It was a normal circuit in the middle with lapis, glowstone, and redstone dust. We can definitely do that, but we need to make uh, a few things. That That's not the things that I need right now. Do I have... I do have six of these. Okay, so that that's nice and easy. We can start off by making the battery. Of course, I meant this normal circuit. Sometimes I feel like my brain doesn't engage properly. So we're going to do two of those, four of these. And I believe I've already picked up some glowstone. So this should be a nice and simple for us. Do these around the outside, you in the middle, and baggity bam. That's all the redstone. Advanced crafting unit. Okay, nice. Wait, no. I was thinking about how I should actually make a crafting machine for this. But if you have to look, advanced circuit. It's got the word crafting in it. Leave me be. I got confused. Uh, so we've done that. We now need to move on to the next bit. We need four casings, two bits of glowstone, and the bat box is going to be a big thing. I'm going to do some jump cuts for the casings here, but you guys should probably want to see. Uh, there's a 
variety of settings in the middle here. We've got this one, which is rolling, which turns these iron ingots into a plate. Let's just let that run through. We could also go for cutting to turn things into wires or extrude. Oh, wait, no, no, no. What? So what's the difference between this? Uh, hang about. I'm going to I'm gonna learn. We're going to learn together, guys. Are you ready for this? One, two a bits of a copper because I want to know what the difference is. Let's start with the cutter. Let's see what cutting does. Uh, oh, will he not? You're not going to take this. Okay, that's that's a thing. All right, what about extruding? So we can extrude. What can we cut? Mm, I'm not sure what that does. We'll have to try and find out at some point. But yeah, there we go. I, I just wanted to show you the different formats this machine did. Oh, look at that. That is, that is beautiful. Mm, something has definitely happened to my base. It's not just the animals. Look, all the wires are dead. Uh, all those random bits of charcoal that got stuck in. It's it's all very confusing. Very confusing indeed. Gonna have to go around and just replace all these wires by the looks of it. I took the liberty of going ahead and getting enough items together to actually make two bat boxes and one uh, for being able to make the jetpack and one for something else. Uh, I now need to take my last two bits of glowstone Stone. That's uh, that's sad times. We need to do something about that and combine it with a bunch of iron casings. Now I've got three plates here and another casing. Uh, I think actually I'm going to be stuck with an odd number again. It's going to try and do that on me. Uh, so we'll have to see. I really should have got these plates ready beforehand. I'll tell you what, while we're waiting for that, let's come on over to the generator. Now, do I need... Where is it? Over here, my wrench to deal with this. More than likely. Why is that... Why, why is that even here? I must have run out of items at some point. Okay, let's just do a click and a grab. That's pretty good. I now want to put this bat box here is that even facing the right way now if i remember correctly this is where power comes in that's great but i want it to go down the bottom i've got a few wires on me here so i think we could probably connect up to stuff straight away that one that one and then if we can just look down to connect there uh, i'm gonna drop down instead then at some point that's gonna get proper uh, lethal but we'll have to see thankfully with my gaining hearts tactic you know passing one quest uh, we're a little bit little bit better than we were okay can i now like right click this is that ah oh, ah oh, oh. Okay, so I put that one in place uh, that I had in my inventory and grabbed the other one back out. Now, what I'm hoping here is that my casing is going to be all ready. Let's get rid of that uh, generator out of my inventory. It's a little bit in the way and unnecessary. Let's do a clickety-click. I... What do you mean I'm missing a bat box? Where's my bat box? I, I literally just had it. Dropped down and grabbed it. Is, is that where I... Oh, okay, fine. Oh, now I'm a little bit stuck. Oh, life is hard. All right, okay, fine. We, we, we sorted that. We got all of those. Let's come over here and be like, actually, I really have that now. Thank you very much. All right, I've got it myself a jetpack. Woo! -hoo! Let's pop that in there and let the power start to flow. It's going to take a little bit of time to work this way all the way up to fully powered, so we'll just hang about. Now, I do believe if we press the U button on here, there should be a way of combining it. Yeah, look, it can combine with a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, what I'm really looking for is the soldier's armor. Hey, the cipher's in. All right, I gave him a shout, but in the meantime, we have managed to completely fill up my jetpack here. Now, let's, let's just go from this. Yeah, we can do that. We need to do it with a jetpack attachment plate. This seems like a lot more work. So uh, for, for now, we're just going to do this. All right, this should be nice and cool. And I should be able... Yay! Okay, is landing going to hurt me? Here's a question. Does landing hurt? Come up. Oh, that was, that was deadly. I, I, I want to just kind of get a little spree. I mean... Yes. Yeah, all right. Landing will hurt me. I'm going to have to try and check that out. Is, how do I keep an eye on how much I've got? There doesn't seem to be any HUD that gives me a read-up of how much uh, power I've got. That's a little unfortunate. We could definitely have done with getting that. But yes, next we're going to be moving on to getting ready to build this. Now, as you might be able to see, the vast majority of it is stone or stone derivative. This was done very specifically so I wouldn't have to try and farm everything. Landing pad? Nice. Uh, so to start off, I think we need to make a 
new bit of kit. I mean, I've got a bunch. Oh, let's let's take that off and put that back on. I have a whole bunch of cobble and stuff like that. But actually, I'm after smooth stone, and I think we can take the opportunity here whilst we're waiting to grab ourselves a couple of buckets. One containing water, one containing lava. Make ourselves something in cyclic. If I have, uh, let's let's try breaker instead. Is that is that the one we're looking for? It is block breaker. As you can see, it's just a bunch of cobble with a redstone torch and an iron pick. All right, that looks pretty spectacular. Now the real question is, do I have a bucket? I have a bucket right here. I need to go and find some lava. Thankfully, I do know where there is a lot around. And unlike all these plebs that have upgraded their generator to a lava burning one, I still have lava underneath me. Everyone else is like, oh, I've run out of lava and I need to start going to the never to get stuff. I'm like, scrubs, charcoal power for life. <laughs> Gloop. Yeah, let's see if I can figure out how to do this properly. First thing I'm going to need is grab a couple of bits of dirt in before the uh, Kestrel Knight or whatever he's called will come and get me. I want to go there and we want to go... I'm going to need a lot more dirt than this. I should have brought a shovel. Uh, let's do all these. Here he is. I knew he'd be around somewhere. Dak a dak, dak dak, dak a dak a dak a dak. Uh, like, how dead are you? I'm just going to use my sword for a sec, guys. Okay, mildly inconvenient, but dealt with. That's the main thing. So one there, one there. We're also going to want to put a little bit of a, a clump up here if we can. Now, it should technically be possible for me to just drop a bit of lava, like, right here. And it will go where I want it. But if we... Mm, yeah, I'm just going to do it back here. This should just flow straight into the water. We're going to have a burny tree, but I do not care literally don't care okay so that should now flow down and if we have a look underneath we should now have a, a beautiful a beautiful piece of stone uh, that's not the best way i need to like drain out some water i have I've done this bad all right so did the block breaker want to face that way or the other way it looks like i've put it down the wrong way yes indeed that's not quite what i wanted to happen there but let's try and break this again what am i going to do with this yeah actually this is a good idea let's try and take the water away if we can because of course we are going to be able to right up until this bit but if i do it a little bit more sneaky and think about the way that i'm doing stuff we can then take that away and this one away all right cool uh, all the way up to here this is this is as far as i'm going to be able to take stuff away Oh dear, I appear to have thrown my stack of storage away at some point. This is not the one that I wanted. Ah, that means he's dro he's lying around somewhere. Ah, I need to I need to run about. I need to run around and try and find stuff. Oh, totally as suspected things are going down. I don't suppose that I dropped something up here anywhere, did I? I mean, that would probably be gone by now if I did. But uh, fire's nice, right? Fire's very good. It's the sapling dying. I would like to make sure that that actually happens first. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, still looking for that sag, stack, sack of storage. Get the words out. does help. Ah, poop and fudgesicles. Looks like I have actually properly lost it. I cannot see it anywhere. This makes me actually quite sad. Actually quite sad. I'm going to take one last look down the other plate. I mean, I wouldn't have put it in here because I didn't go anywhere near any of this stuff. I am going to have to go and look at my footage and see at what point I threw it away. Because that's the only, t only thing that's going to happen. Like, if I put this over here and then throw that see how it's put another one immediately into my hand that's uh that's something that needs to get addressed unfortunately it means i've definitely lost my actual bag full of actual tools i had a few diamonds in it and stuff like that right yeah that's that's not great that's not amazing so I totally didn't rage quit for the night after losing my sack full of uh, very important equipment. It turns out I was standing here going, oh, I should go get a bucket of lava. Uh, and I had both these sacks and my other sack in my inventory. And by the time I got down to the lava, it was gone. Now, I think I dropped it right about here looking at the footage, but I, I can't tell. Literally cannot tell where it goes or what or anything. It, it just up and disappears somewhere between me standing here and me being down in the lava. And that was literally just a walk over there and going down so who, who knows i immediately started walking around to try and find it uh, i couldn't find it but other things have happened overnight yes indeed overnight we have had a new update to the pack unfortunately the dalek mod has been removed this is for reasons of verification if you will the people who run the twitch launcher have been like hey you need to submit your mod pack to make it 
uh, to get it onto the launcher and we need to make sure it works fine and that was fine for the first few updates but now all of a sudden they're like yeah Dalek mod you need to use the one on the curse launcher and Landstrider's like but that's broken and they go we don't care so we moved it out that that was pretty that was that was a thing uh, also if we have a look here Forrester no longer takes charcoal I've also got more power than it can actually take I'm hoping that this will just get back down to normal numbers and everything will be all right there let's just make sure that i've still got my ammo in here i do okay that's pretty good i need to try and find my shield we are wearing armor and i think it is time for us to go and clear out the caves i will need to make myself a stack of torches and then if i open up my look look, look at these here one of them's on the exact same height as me what is going on with that and i happen to know there's a whole bunch of caves just over here and there are ways to get in so if we have a look down this way behind those dirt pillars is a cave and of course up and back there is a cave okay i think we are set and ready to go oh that is a shame that doing that removes the shield from my offhand i mean it makes sense to have guns being a two-handed weapon uh, all right let's just kind of creep around here and make sure there is nothing in the actual tree farm itself it looks like we're pretty clear i'm looking at the map mainly uh there is a bunch of stuff right underneath me right underneath me and i'm gonna have to come down and under this way to see if they are directly underneath all my stuff unfortunately it is now night time so who knows what badness could be happening here all right let's uh i kind of want to keep an eye on my escape routes that that is a must is anybody down here right nobody is here right now and i also happen to know that there is a cave back there but we're not going to go that yeah no well, we are going to go that way do i have a shovel on me i do not have a shovel on me that little bit more unfortunate but let's just go this way and we will find oh maybe not then wow that took a lot of damage off of me uh okay so i'm gonna have to go make a shovel that that's the long and the short of this okay i went and fetched myself a shovel oh hello extra extra block of dirt there would be pretty good i've kind of lost my orientation this is the way that we want to go because i know that behind here there is a an entrance to another realm i think it's through this way maybe we need to dig down a bit behind the gravel yeah there it is okay cool so we need to try and figure out what we're doing about this place it's going to be a bit hard to get down there but not the most impossible thing i've ever done in my life let's try and dig around this way a little bit of a shame that we're going to be losing these leads but they're just they're just in my way you know they are just in my way okay looking more than a little bit dangerous there can i pop torch there okay does that help at all i don't know i don't see nothing uh let's try taking this stuff out as well is this going to be also an open void that's not the most helpful i don't want to drop down there because with my uh my very few state of hearts I'm very likely to die. You know, this this is a possibility. Do I have anything that will help me? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying about the possibility of me dying is quite high. There it is right there. Okay. How do we do this? There's a guy right there that can get shot. Bam, bam. Oh, please don't. Please don't. I am so scared right now. I don't want to lose another heart. That's the main problem, is I just don't want to lose another heart. Uh, I'm worried about that zombie soldier that appears to be hanging out as well. Can I open this up and let the spider up? Uh, that's probably the worst idea I've ever had in my entire Minecraft career. But I want to try, yeah, try and get a good shot again. Let's, let's take it down. All right, that was a few bullets wasted, but that was a good start. Uh, can we do any better like this? I really wish I could see how many hearts it has. That would be helpful right about now. You can't get through here, can you? 24 hearts. Wow. Wow. Why are you so tough? Okay, that's that taken down. Where's the other one? He was around somewhere and I'm a little bit worried about him. Is there a way of making my way down there now? That's not great, is it? That's... We would like to place a drop, a block that drops there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go get some gravel. Wait. 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 What? What am I? What am I doing? It's not like I haven't come totally prepared for this. Oh, I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes. I don't know whether this is gonna be great or not, though. That's the main problem here. Is that I can see a lot of problems arising from it. Let's just drop down and see what we can do. Nothing's come to kill me yet. Oh, hello. Uh. 
This way? Yeah, okay. Who's got a gun? That's the main thing I'm worried about. Okay, he dead. He had a gun. You're an invisible miner or something. Oh, he ain't dead. Okay, he's dead. Is the guy behind him dead? Oh, man, he, he really does have a gun. That is my biggest worry. Biggest fear. Let's put some blocks on my bar so I can deal with this. So far, so good. Super worried about him, obviously. 77... Ooh, ooh, stop, stop. 77 hearts. What am I supposed to do about that? That's... To say those are difficult is an understatement. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's not do that. Okay, I've got a top-down shot on him. Let's see if we can do anything about this. Probably not. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Run away! How many of them have guns? That's what I need to know. I just wanted to get down there and light the place up. Doesn't look like that's actually a possibility. Can we go down this way and throw torches all around here? That that, that would probably actually work quite well for me. Uh, so this is a big old jump here. Uh, can I make it so I can get up and they can't? If I place this block over here and jump, maybe. Let's try it. Oh, hey. Look at you right there, buddy. I know how to take care of people like you when you do that. We do this. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen when I do this. So let's put some blocks around. Did you guys see that? I saw that. Whew. Um... Let's put a block here, and a block here, and a block here. Right, that should now stop him... Oh, there's two of them there. Stop them getting their way out of the little trap that I've set for them, hopefully. Whew. Just beat them up now. 72 hearts again. Like, honestly, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do against a 72 heart. This is going to literally work through the majority of my sword. But I'm looking at the number of bad guys that are around, so hopefully we've done a good here. Uh, that should work out. Man, this this is turned into a much longer segment than anticipated. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> did you did you see all that? Okay, so it's feeling a little bit safer. We're, we're, we're going full UHC. What was that? Did you guys see that? Like, what actually is that thing? What actually is that thing? Can we get underneath here and then kind of go this way and see if anything... Hi! Whoa. Psycho Steve! Hello, Psycho Steve. How are you doing? I would like you to die by my swift torch hand... Uh, my swift sword hand, if you may. Come on, Psycho Steve. Come at me. Oh, man, I am terrified. Terrified. So we've now got him down to the number of hearts that other guys have. Man, I need to get people on the server who don't light up their caves as well as I do. Okay, so that's a Psycho Steve down. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to try and now move our defensive wall forwards a little bit. Uh, I've got some dirt in my hand here. How far forwards can we walk? That's the question. Oh, oh, oh. That far will do me. Do me well. Nice. You are super, super dangerous, aren't you? That's not how I like to live my life. If we could do it not being super dangerous, that would be great, thanks. Oh, what? There was a block and everything. How did he get through there? Ah, oh, well, I suppose that's something to bear in mind. Let's do a sleep if we can. Uh, I was just slowly edging my way forwards. There goes half of my hearts already. That's 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 unfortunate. Unfortunate. Look, we only got this far out. Oh man, does this one connect? There's a question. Does this connect to that? I mean, that will be terrifying if that is the case. Uh, just wander on down nice and slowly. This is the path of no return. Yeah, indeed it does. And I could probably have fought them from out here or at least slapped down some torches from out this way. That's uh, something to bear in mind when we go and pick up... Oh, look at him over there. Uh, pick up the... What's going on? Are you a bad guy or not? My tomb is what I'm trying to say of this sentence that I have aborted twice. I, I'm scared. This whole pack, very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Okay, let's go around this way and see what we can do about getting ourselves our stuff back. Down this way, down this way, down this way. Hopefully, big old hole. That's, that's good. All right, new tactic, running away a very long distance, and then we're going to let them despawn, and then we're going to come back. That's 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 the way it works, right? We can live with that. 
Uh, there's still stuff down there, but nowhere near as much. Let's see if we can run in and place some torches down if we can. Uh, just anywhere where there's a bit of a dark spot like this. That's that's horrific. And like down here. Now the thing is this... Oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Come on. Let's get you. Did I take damage or is that healing? Why aren't you taking your own... Is it? I'm not sure if I'm doing the damage or not. I'm just going to keep backing up. Hopefully he won't follow me out. Not that I know which way out is. This way. Are you going to carry on following me all the way, are you? I don't know how to do this. Or oh, double tapped. Okay, that's better. Teleport. Okay, that helped a lot. <laughs> uh, let's try and spot him and then take him out. He's over this way somewhere, right? I know you're just over here somewhere. Look, there's, there's the arrows. You're underneath me, aren't you? Ooh. Okay, let's go round wide. Make sure there's nothing to mess with. No? There you are. Are you coming out? Oh! Get that, get that shield back up. Oh dear. That's not good. And here was me, just wanting to run around and place torches. Torches are life, yo. This might be silly. And probably it's silly. Let's, let's be honest, all I ever do are silly moves. Look for extra angry people. Do we see any extra angry people? Uh, checking my my map almost every step of the way. Though trying to split my eyeballs in two places. Not the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Is he a gun wielder or not? He's not a gun wielder. He, he, he's, he's the zombie miner. He's, he's the guy we've been after for a very long time actually. Um, I don't know if I can get to him without him getting to me, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that enough? Alright, you are on my level. Is anybody else on my level? I don't think so. There we go. Alright, we got him. We got him. Okay, I find myself in a bit of a problem here. It is a standard skeleton, though. So I think we'll be alright. Can I even walk towards? I don't think we can. Uh, the real question is, is anything behind me? I'm being pushed back by the water, that's making it awkward. I've got a feeling the moment I try and shoot him with the gun, I'm, I'm dead. Okay, but teleport seems to be a good way out of that. Yes, indeed. Um, but I've already noticed that this episode has totally run away with me. That's a little bit of uh, clearing out of the caves. It's going to get more and more difficult as we go on. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to load up the ship and get that built, hopefully with the help of my friends. Uh, it turns out today was just setting up to get the stuff to build the ship. Next time we will build that ship. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!